Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five biological technician interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. What makes you the ideal biological technician for our company? Here's how you answer. The interviewer expects you to discuss what sets you apart from other candidates. There are likely several other candidates interviewing for the same position, so be sure to provide an answer that makes you stand out. Describe what you hope to contribute to the company through your work and talk about how your qualities can benefit the company. Avoid giving generic answers such as, I enjoy science or I enjoy working in a lab. This answer should demonstrate what makes you more valuable than other candidates who are interviewing for the same position. Here's our answer example. I have a wealth of knowledge to pass on to others, but I am also very eager to learn. I feel that I would be a great benefit to this company because I will work hard to learn while acting as a mentor to newer staff members. Question number two. How do you best learn the task of a new position? Here's how you answer. The interviewer wants to know which training methods will be most beneficial during your orientation period. Individuals learn new tasks in a variety of ways, and the interviewer wants to know which training techniques will work well with you. Think about when you began working in your prior positions and how you learn new tasks and duties. Maybe you learn best by reading or watching training videos. Maybe you learn best by listening to lectures and taking notes or you are more hands-on and learn best by observing a demonstration of a task and then trying to complete it yourself. Explain your most effective learning technique to the interviewer. Here's our answer example. I am a hands-on learner. I learn new tasks best by completing them with the assistance of someone who is experienced so that I can ask questions as I go and take notes. Usually, if I complete the task once or twice with the assistance, I can complete the assignment in the future. Question number three, talk about a time you are faced with a difficult ethical decision in the workplace. The interviewer wants to know that if faced with a difficult ethical situation, you'll make the right decision. Ethical decisions speak to an employee's honesty and integrity. Making a poor ethical decision can result in the invalidation of testing and lost time and money for the company. Talk about a time you are faced with an ethical decision or witness someone else making a poor ethical decision and describe how you handled it. Ethical decisions can involve reporting false data, false time reporting, or violating confidentiality. Here's our answer example. In my current role, I had a coworker who would add to the data in her notebook after a test was performed so it would be validated. At times, she would even take the notebook home with her to make the additional changes. Taking materials from the labs and not documenting them in real time are both violations of the company's ethics policy and standard lab practices. I had to make our director aware. She's no longer with the company. Question number four. When faced with competing deadlines, how do you best prioritize your work? Here's how you answer. The interviewer asks this question to determine whether you can multitask or you get overwhelmed easily. The interviewer wants to determine how you decide which tasks are most important when you are assigned several projects at the same time. Describe the steps you take and the information you gather to determine which assignment gets completed first when you have more than one deadline to meet at the same time. Talk about the time management techniques you utilize and how you multitask in your role. Here's our answer example. I often have multiple projects that I am working on at once. I have become very successful at multitasking and I can bounce back and forth between different testing batches, which allows me to run more than one test at a time. If I am working on more than one project, especially if it is for different clients, I take notes to be sure that no information is lost or forgotten along the way. Question number five. Provide an example of a time that you had a conflict with a coworker or client and explain what you did to resolve the conflict. The interviewer asks this question to understand the conflict, resolution, and problem-solving methods you utilize 
when you are faced with a problem in the workplace. The interviewer wants to know that you can handle work-related problems professionally without disrupting work. Think about a time you had a problem with a client or coworker. Talk about the steps you took to solve the problem and discuss the outcome. Here's our answer example. In a previous role, I had a coworker who rarely communicated with the team. It was frustrating because we did not know what part of the project was being worked on. Eventually, I spoke with the employee and asked if he could provide periodic updates so that we were all on the same page. It turned out that he was just so focused on getting the work done that he did not realize his lack of communication was affecting the team. We worked well together after that. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos for mock questions.